Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome back to another Season 3 My Team video and today we have added in our third Galaxy Oval to our collection. Now if we went for one conference, we'd have had our first Dark Matter today, but of course we didn't do that. We split up our players, we went for Jimmy Butler first, then we switched to AD and today we've got ourselves Galaxy Opal Clyde Drexler and also I managed to see him walk out and I'm going to teach you guys a little trick as to how to see your reward players come out of a pack because usually they just get chucked into your collection don't they usually you just see this and then you click continue and that's job done however you can get them and see this animation and that is the Galaxy Opal Glow which we'll talk about a little bit in a bit. Uh, I'm also going to talk to you guys about the uh, the way to start off a new season because I don't know about you guys but I find myself when a new season comes, staring at this, thinking just, where do I go? I look at every game mode all down at zero and just go, where do I go? So I'm going to tell you guys what I've started with. We've got ourselves to 30,000 XP. Not that XP is an accomplishment these days, but we've got ourselves up to 30k level 25. And we'll have a little bit more talk about Season 3, which dropped yesterday. And the uh, the disappointment around that. I don't think there's any sugarcoating how it's been received. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for the daily videos and check out facebook.com slash Eddie Cosso for the daily videos. Let me know down below this weekend, what has your priority been in season number three? So XP, how have we got so much so quickly? Um, the season three tip-off stuff, you know, little bits and bobs, nothing too crazy. The fire set, so we obviously used a Yarnis, used Amethyst Yarnis, bought Rudy Gay, bought Obi Topping. I oh, bought over top and I haven't done his uh, stuff yet. We had Mo Bamba, we had Gerald Green. I used Gerald Green for the threes, I used Giannis for this, and obviously we got through the challenge. So that, that all gets itself done very easily. And as you can see, I've done the spotlight. So this is my mentality going into a new season. I just want to, in my mind, think I've actually made progression. So the skills challenges, we got the fire challenge done for a pack, which obviously got us an emerald card, but that's just classic. But then after that, I decided, let's go spotlights. So I've got five of these done. Now, obviously, you might be thinking, well, hold the phone. You're not 36. I call hacks. Well, obviously, these cards are already in the game because they're not new reward cards. So you just go out and buy Jarrett Allen, you buy Ben Simmons, and you're able to get through these challenges. So I feel like I've, you know, got through quite a bit, which is good. I feel like this challenge section, until I hit level 40, I can't do these challenges. Obviously, you need Trey Young. So until I hit level 40, this section is now pretty much done. I need to do the activity challenge. Uh, which is PS5 exclusive, but I'm not really too fussed about that. And I need to do this for 15 tokens, which I'm not too fussed about. So with those challenge games, we managed to complete a lot of XP, which got us through the levels. You know, from here, we've got a couple of, of trophy case pieces. You don't really get anything else. Uh, the Essential Boards have done nothing. Although, Neon Lights, yeah, yeah. Uh, the new season has, of course, brought about the biggest change ever which is the neon lights in the Ascension board. But of course, the Ascension board itself has not changed. So I came out of the Ascension board. I think I've still got the packs. So I haven't been bothered to open them. Are they still here? Yep. Um, you know, a shoe pack, a court floor, a shoe, a badge, a playbook, a badge, a badge. That's what you get from the Ascension board. So that's not been updated. But hey, we do have neon lights. We've also got through 10 games of Clutch Time offline, just because I wanted to make a progress somewhere. And Clutch Time online, we did three, just to get the three in a row. Uh, and that got us the takeover, or well, not the takeover thing, the uh, legendary, I think we've got a legendary for it. So that's pretty cool. So we've got to do three unlimited in a row, three draft, and three triple that online co-op. Now I'm going to get these done before opening up any of the option case packs that are around. So for 10 wins in clutch time, we've got an option pack. Now if you don't know about these, you can take any card, but you can take it like over and over again. So I get 12 cards from this, which is 10 wins in clutch time offline. We get another one of these at 30 wins, but that will be the same 12 cards. So I'll be able to take the same piece twice if need be. So I don't want to start taking pieces and then 2k give those specific pieces as rewards. So I think we're just going to hold on to those pieces until we need them. This is how the trophy case looks right now. So for me, I need these three pieces for the Grizz, the same three pieces for the Mavs, the Pels has already got a centerpiece, and we just need these three, and the Rockets, we need a centerpiece and the top left and in one. And after that, then we've got to go to the Eastern Conference and do it all here. So um, yeah, trophy case, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but not, I mean, it's got to be done this season, hasn't it? But let's just hope season four can maybe be a little bit more exciting. But to be fair, speaking of excitement, 
on our very first game of Clutch Time Online this season, the very first game, out pops the pink diamond. Oh, did I not screenshot it? Oh, yeah, I did. It's literally right there. Pink diamond, Alan Houston. On game one, win one. Nuts. So we have got the takeover card, which is cool. Card art, amazing. And this is what I gave 2K props for yesterday. The card art is fantastic. Will I ever use Alan Houston? I don't think so. The driving's not great. The defense isn't great. The speed's not great. But he's a great shooter. But I need a little bit more than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Alan Houston's great. He's there. But he would not be used. But it was cool to get a card on the very first game. I was not mad at that in the slightest. And, of course, for our trophy case, we locked in. And we got ourselves... So where are we now? So we've got Jimmy, we've got Manu already, and then we've got these. So we have, we've actually got 16 pink diamonds, and we've now got ourselves three Galaxy Opals because Clyde is home. So what you got to do when you get to this screen right here is just dashboard. So close the game. So on PS5, go home. Oops. Uh, go over here, click the options button, and then close game. Uh, on Xbox, I don't know, do the same thing. Just close the game, close app. And what that then will do will load you back into the game, Clyde won't be in your collection, he'll be in a pack, and you'll be able to open up the pack. Now this is the Galaxy Opal animate, you might think I'm lying, but you'll see Clyde come out of it in a minute, but I don't know about you guys, I don't know I know Galaxy Opal to me. If I saw that in a pack, I'm thinking, great, I've got a diamond card. I don't know how we're going to discern between a diamond and a Galaxy Opal, but that is so underwhelming. I think in general the, the whole pack animations this year are so naff. The lightning looks pretty naff. The, the shake is pretty meh. 2K21 was the best and this is just far away from that. But that is a Galaxy Opal pull in 2K23. And then out of the uh, pack is, is a Galaxy Opal. You do get yourself um, the walkout. So I wish I knew this earlier because I could have seen my Galaxy Opal AD walkout. I could have seen Galaxy Opal Jimmy walkout. And you definitely want to do this if you get a Dark Matter. Because the Dark Matter glow is ridiculous so you definitely want to do this but that is how uh, you are able to see reward cards walk out so if you wanted to you could do that on your pink diamonds as well but you know pink diamond shake anything too special and to be fair neither is the opal neither is the opal but Clyde is here so he now slots into the team as the backup shooting guard he don't knock out Jimmy because Jimmy's just a god but Clyde is here so he has got elite driving good three ball Good passing, not really, but it's okay. Good defense, but interior is is bad. 60, 60 block and 65 interior compared to Jimmy's, I'm, I'm going to assume it's higher. 82 and 85, yeah, a little bit higher. So Clyde inside, not great, um, but Prunes is fine, and obviously speed is fantastic. And then badges-wise, we've got the finishing badges. You've got your fearless, you've got your posterizer. Um, we've got clamp breaker, we've got a quick first step. Defensively, we do have a few awful pest, pogo, workhorse, and a chase down, but none of your, you know, clamps, glove, challenger, interceptor, none of those. But Clyde, very nice addition to the squad, very nice addition off the bench, and I'm very happy with that. My plan moving forward, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I, li I like knowing I've completed something or at least like got a part of something done. So I feel like this is pretty much done. I've just got to do Jarrett Allen and that's over. And the spotlights I don't have to touch until I get level 40, which is going to be in a while. But now it's back to, I've got 250 games to win here, 90 more games to win here, uh, another 60 hours to play here. You know, you're looking at 120 games, depending on how many you win or lose. Looking at 120 hours, 60 hours, sorry, not 120, 60 hours. Another 100 wins here, another 100 wins here. And I'm just there thinking, man, we're just doing the same things that we've done for the last three months over a game for the same reward cards that we've done for the last three months as well. So it's very tough. Um, I, I'm leaning towards Clutch Time Online because I really don't mind Clutch Time Online. I think this is one of the better online modes because it is so quick. Uh, you can get through it so, uh, so rapidly, whereas Unlimited is just such a time sink. Clutch Time Online, I don't mind. And the rewards aren't too bad. You know, they're not great, but... You know, 50,000 MT at 90 wins is a nice little bonus. And you get yourself, what, 500 tokens as well. Not that tokens mean anything, but, you know, it's still quite nice. So I'm um, leaning towards clutch time online. We obviously do get a Hoff badge pack as well, which is nice. I know the smart thing to do is go unlimited because you get the 10 pack of the firebox. Um, where is it? There it is. You get the fire 10 pack box and the 20 pack box. And right now, yeah, Giannis is a... Oh, my goodness, mate. 
Uh, well, this is one with 30 Hoth badges going for 3 million MT. But as a standard card, he is around 1 million MT. And Zo is around 200. So Zo is, you know, not great, nothing crazy. Obi Topping is... Why is Rudy Gay still here? Did I not sell you earlier? I'm sure I did. Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, let me sell Rudy Gay. We're done with him. I need to keep Obi Topping. Obi Topping was like 10k. Diamond Yarnis is... I mean, Diamond Yarnis is still 60k. Give it a couple of weeks. Diamond Yarnis is not going to be 60k. Diamond Rudy Gay will not be 30k. These guys will only go down in value. So it really does make sense to get Unlimited done, you know, very much sooner rather than later. But... Again, just knowing how much time it's going to take is... It's hard to motivate yourself to do that. It's another 60 hours in six weeks, along with everything else that you've got to do as well. And it is the only place, you know, if you want a 10 box, it is the only place to be able to get one. Which, you know, is, is a counter to the argument of, oh, if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. You know, don't get the rewards. Like, I want to open up packs. I want to open up boxes, but can't. Because there's no option to. Because we, uh, nobody spent players just get absolutely left in the mud. Uh, and I can't engage in any of this content. You know, I can't do any of these. Nothing. The only pack I can open is this. And we opened up a lot of those and we didn't get anything. So, fire set. You know, we, we should go unlimited first. We should. But I just don't know. Another thing that I still don't know about is Tim Thomas. If you can sway me one way or another, get in the comment section down below and let me know. But I'm still so unsure. The Rosen's price has been flip-flopping. I mean, this is only at 600k, but this morning, one sold for 1 million MT, so he is on the rise. He is going up. We've got 1.5 mil. We've got Hakeem. We've got Magic. And we've got Kareem. We've got... And obviously a DeRozan. So we've got a lot of MT if needed. But do I need a Tim Thomas? If we get Tim Thomas, obviously he starts. James Worthy back up four. Chet's out of Thor, and that's fine. And I start a lineup of Magic, Jimmy, Tim, AD, and Hakeem. I mean, that is very, very strong with a backup lineup of John Wall, Clyde, Scotty, James Worthy, and Kareem. I mean, that is very strong as well. So for Unlimited, it would work. For Clutch Time Online, it would work. But I'm just not sure if I can bring myself to lock in this much MT because it takes so much to make... That much MT, obviously badging out players is about the only thing we can do to make a significant amount of MT, because you can't make it by playing this game. But everybody else is doing that, and the, the profit margins are getting smaller by the day. If you added, like last year, 16 Hoff badges to Giannis, who had 8, and made him 24. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year, in November, the end of November, we had the NBA 75 Giannis, which came out, was a pink diamond, 95 rated, and that set the all-time auction house record at 7.9 million MT. And I don't even think it had that many badges. It was probably like 20. But that was 7.9 mil, and that was this time last year. And there were not many that were badged out. You know, if you had one that had more than 15, that was special. This year, 24 isn't even special. 24, you know, I think you buy Giannis for a million MT. Add 16 Hoffs, sell him for 2 mil MT, lose 200k on tax. 800k profit from 16 Hoff badges, 50k profit per Hoff badge. We used to run off of the motto of, like, you want to get 100k per Hoff badge. I don't think it's possible anymore. Now, 34 is a different story. 34 gets you 4 mil, and that is a very nice payday. Uh, but I don't think we can get a Giannis to that much just yet. So a lot of people who use their Hoff badges, you know, maybe that means the next player that comes out, uh, the door will open up a bit more. Obviously, there's still a lot of Hoff badges that are gate-kept, by 2k, I mean, I think most of the badges I've got, they don't allow anybody to have Acrobat, Brick Wall, uh, Posterizer. They allow Blinders. Um, some of them, they allow Quick First Step. Pretty sure they allow Quick First Step. They're not allowed anybody to get Clamps, Hyperdrive, Menace, Mismatch, Agent 3, Amped, Anchor, Challenger, Clamp Breaker, Glove, Limitless. Uh, and they've allowed both of these. There's a lot of these badges that 2k are not allowing to get on players. So, like, there's going to be a time when they do allow these badges to be used on players. And when that happens, you're going to want to have a lot of filler badges to go along with them. So, you know, we're in a good position. We're in a very good place. And obviously it's a fresh season, a lot of badges to be earned. But I just don't know if I can warrant locking in what is realistically probably about a million MT with these three diamonds, with Kareem, which I probably wouldn't want to hold on to forever. Probably locking in about a million MT. 
I don't know if I could do that. So let me know down below if you can sway me either way. But start of the new season. Has he sold? He has. Start of a new season. We've made some good progress. It's just, yeah, much of the same. The new season disappointment is so real. And I keep looking here, hoping that my Hoff badge exchange for 20 Amethyst is going to come back. And it's just long gone, boys. The dream is over. It's just a pink diamond, which costs you 100k. Or 10 diamonds, which cost you 10,000 MT each. AKA 100,000 MT. Neither of these are worth it in the slightest. Uh, and the exchange is mudded and then obviously token market it's just old players it's a it's a rough season i hope there's some excitement i hope there's some type of event or something um but we will be getting our first dial matter over the next few days so i guess that is cool that's gonna do it for me today everybody hope you have enjoyed we got ourselves a dark matter no we didn't galaxy opal clyde drexler and we saw the animation which just is sadly added on to the list of disappointing things this year because that is just a diamond card you can't change my mind, but I will see you guys later. Let's go in through. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.